What's shaking everyone? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be talking to you about what you should be putting in your gamma and your alpha. Now I've been wanting to do this for a while and what I think it's different from what other people think. So instead of me just being like, Hey, you should put this in or this in what I did was I asked a bunch of my streamer buddies, what they put in theirs. I recorded them and then you can listen to everyone and maybe get like, Oh, I liked what that person said or what that person said makes sense. So you're just going to get a bunch of different opinions on how people run their secure container and you know, you can do with it what you want, but that's what this video is all about. What you put in your secure container. Before I play all the recorded footage, I just want to let you know that just right here is going to be everyone's Twitch handle. So you know what? Go give them a follow, give them some love because they deserve it. They're amazing content creators on Escape from Tarkov and they all generally play mostly Escape from Tarkov full time. So go check them out, give them some love. And here we go. Well, hello, Mr. Geeks as viewers. I know you've came to this video to understand what we, the streamers, put inside of our gamma containers and our alpha containers. So my setup, I run usually a triple stack of bullets. Uh, I run my marked room key. This is my mark. This is most like my customs kit. Um, I run my mark key, hit marked room. I have my wallet in there to keep the rubles. I could probably run a docs case instead. These are the same amount of space and hold more loot. I also run a golden star that way. If I get shot off spawn, I'm not dead in my tracks. And I run the survival kit to fix my blacked out limbs. And that's what I run in my gamma container. So if I was running an alpha container, I'd honestly ditch uh, the survival kit and my wallet uh, and maybe use a key tool instead. But I don't run key tools. The only key I run when I run in customs is my marked room key. So I keep it in there. I run a golden star again to fix the blacked out limb. Or if I get shot off spawn, to not be dead in my tracks. And I run one less stack of bullets if I was going to run an alpha container. So with regards to my gamma container and the items that I put inside my gamma container, generally speaking, I would put my sick case. The sick case would contain obviously my keys and whatnot, everything that I needed. Um, I always use a survival 12. It's very rare that I run a CMS kit. It's always or usually a survival 12. It always contains my um, golden star or uh, ibuprofen, my painkillers. And then usually you'd have this top three slots. Now, depending on the gun that I'm using, I'll either use a mag and a spare ammo, or I might do two, spacks of st uh, two stacks of spare ammo. Um, generally speaking, the rest of the stuff goes in the rig, so that's all I would tend to use. Um, if I had um, an, an alpha container, and we know we just had the uh, the two pi two slots, the obviously the thing that I'm going to be using is my sick. It's always going to be my sick because I want to put my dog tags in there. I want to put uh, all my money, etc. in there. The other thing will be my painkillers, and the other thing would be a stack of ammo. Um, with regards to, well, what happens, Philip, if you get a black leg, then on this case, I would have to probably just use the CMS. Um, but if it was an alpha, that's what that would be. And if it was a gamma container, then uh, that's what it would be. Well, that helps. All right, that's it. So inside my gamma, what I normally have is my docs and key tool. Uh, I generally am a shoreline main, so I do not run a sick case. The reason I don't run a sick case is you cannot put diaries inside of a sick case and in shoreline you run through or run into a ton of diaries uh, so i run a docs case and a key tool uh, then i always have my golden star i have my stims and i have my spare ammo i never keep a serve 12 in there like most people do because serve 12s are dirt cheap um, there isn't three things in here that are cheaper than the serve 12. Uh, so this is generally what i run sometimes it'll swap and uh, depending on the map i'll have a zagoost in something like this uh, different stuff hot keyed uh, but for my gamma, uh, this is all I put in it. I keep my keys in there, docs case, key tool, my stims, my ammo, and my golden star. IFAX, everything else, serve 12, CMSs, all that stuff is dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. If I am to have an alpha, if I am to have an alpha, and we're going to stick with uh, just a key tool, uh, I'm just going to take... My golden star, my key tool, and my expensive stims. Otherwise, ammo's ammo as well. De again, depending on the map, depending on the ammo and everything. If I'm running expensive ammo, the ammo is going to stay there. The stims are going to come out. Um, but yeah, uh, it's always going to be the most expensive thing. For some reason, I always see people run serve twelves, and I don't really get it because I see them put more expensive stuff up here. Uh, serve twelves are cheap. CMSs are cheap. Uh, everything. So it's always my expensive stims that I keep down there. 
and uh, my keys, and that's about it with my whatever painkiller I am running. All right, so what I would do with my Gamma pretty much stays the same throughout the wipe and throughout every single map. The first thing I'll do is I'll start with a multi-use painkiller. This is there so when I run out of my instant painkiller that I can use in a battle, if I run out of that and I need more painkillers, I have a multi-use. I tend to go with the Golden Star because it can also give you energy and hydration in a pinch so you don't die from loss of either of those things. Next thing I'll do is I'll definitely keep a docs case or a sick case in my Gamma container. I do this so I can fit all of the keys that I want to run. You know, the map changes, I'll change out the keys. It can also fit money inside so I can take car extracts, pay for those, and, and have money to do that. The next thing I'll do is I'll keep a Serve 12 with me. Now, I like these over the CMS because they're 15 charges. They heal more limb HP, and they can also, if I really need them to, heal fractures as well. That being said, I also do bring an Alu Splint with me, just so if I do get a Fracture or two, I can heal them a lot faster. The last two things I bring are at least one stack of ammo. Um, you know, for whatever gun I'm running, I'll bring a whole extra stack of ammo in the Gamma, so that way if I die, at least I didn't put all my ammo in the rig, and I can keep something. Very last slot goes to the Mule. Now, this is a very luxury item, but what I tend to do with this is... And if you don't know, this increases your weight limit by 50% for 15 minutes. What I tend to do here is not use this until I have a raid where I have so much gear on me that I can't move safely. I'm entirely too slow and I need to get out alive and fast. Pop the mule, I'll move a lot quicker, head to an extract and get out safe. So this is a last resort kind of thing that I only use if I had a very good raid. Now, so if I didn't have this gamma and I had to use an alpha, things would definitely change here a lot. First of all, we can't fit the Serve 12 in there. That's just not going to happen. It's not physically possible. This splint, it's cheap enough. Right now, it's probably 10 or 11k on the market here. Yeah, it's 10k on the market, 12k for a full one. That's not going to go in there. That's just not worth it value-wise. This ammo is even too cheap to bring in uh, this ammo is also really not that expensive, so that would be gone. And the mule, that's definitely gone. That's a luxury. So we definitely keep our Golden Star. We need that painkiller for survival purposes. The Docs case is going to have to go as well. And ideally, we want a key tool to replace it. So, you know, let's pretend that this mule is the key tool. We have our painkiller, key tool to carry in keys. The last two slots are going to go to the CMS kit because the worst thing is to have a blacked out stomach or legs. If you have a blacked out stomach, you're probably going to die. If you have a blacked out leg, you're really not in the best position. Now that being said, if you're not a key oriented person, we don't need that key tool and you could swap it out with say something like a stack of ammo. So then you have painkillers in case something goes wrong, CMS so you can heal your limbs back to normal and then extra ammo for whatever gun you're using. This is probably what I'd run in an alpha and it wouldn't really change much. If anything, like I said, we could swap out um, the extra ammo for the key tool, so on and so forth. And so I think the most important things um, if, if you have a gamma container, the serve kit, massively important. You don't want to get your stomach blacked out, leg blacked out, arm blacked out, and not be able to repair it. So if you can, putting one of these um, in, your, in your containers, massively important. If you have an alpha container, I think the main thing to prioritize is ammo. You want to have some backup ammo in there because ammo is the one thing that you're not really going to want to cheap out on, and it's kind of expensive. And so if you die, you want to make sure that you don't lose all the ammo that you have. So you want to have a little bit of backup ammo there. A backup mag as well, if possible. If you have an alpha, I'd focus on just the keys and uh, ammo and then a um, painkiller would be the things I would prioritize with an alpha. These guys right here. So basically a key holder, um, docs case, sick case, key tool, um, and then basically backup ammo and a painkiller and then if you have a gamma I like the serve kit extra mag on top of those things and then if you were to have the um, kappa which is going to be one extra row up I would throw in an extra mag and probably an ETG or a mule by the time I get kappa I'm probably not going to need the mule so it's probably going to be an ETG but that, that's what I would focus on in my container. We're talking about what I like to put in my secure container. 
every raid. I'm a big, especially early wipe guy, CMS over Survive 12. The Survive 12 just takes up so much space, especially, obviously, you can't even fit it. If you have an alpha, it takes up half of your epsilon. And even with the gamma, it takes up a lot of space. So I like this. You have to replace them more often, but I actually don't mind the fact that this is a quicker animation, especially if you have to pop one off in a sticky situation. As soon as I can, I get a hold of any sort of like high capacity painkiller med, ibuprofen, golden star, Vaseline. I keep that in there 100%. 60 rounds uh, extra ammo of whatever gun I'm bringing in, uh, sometimes more or sometimes if I'm split stacks, if I'm bringing in two extra guns. The ALU splint, once again, even if I can't buy these, if I find them, I always want that in there uh, because especially with the CMS, you can't heal fractures. I actually personally prefer having this as two separate items anyways for two reasons. One, the ALU splint can come out if something more important needs to go in. Uh, and uh, this is so much quicker to fix a splint. If I only have a splint, I don't have to use a 15 second animation there. Extra meds, IFAX are cheap, easy to get. Uh, so this is another thing that just dips out um, if need be. And then, of course, keys, docs case, sick container, uh, whatever I need. Uh, and then sometimes, like right now, I've got like an auxiliary thing. Later in the wipe, I'm going to basically keep this here with like a green ETG always. Uh, I don't have one. Oh, I do. Later on in the wipe, when I can afford these every raid, I'm going to keep one in there all the time. Uh, this is just like S tier for um, those moments where everything feels like all hope is lost with all the, the healing. Now, if I had an alpha container it would most likely it would most likely look something like this mm, probably something like this when i'm going to a map that i have keys of course the docs case is gonna is gonna take a lot of space if i had an alpha container i would be basically gunning from day one to get a key bar as opposed to a docs case i would sell docs case i would sell everything get a key bar uh, so that that could save space. If I didn't have one, it'd probably be this. These painkillers are really nice. Um, and the ammo, it feels like necessary early wipe. And these are both okay to throw away if you find something you need. If I had something like a key bar, then I would probably put in like a splint or something like that. And then it's another reason to use these. I would probably try and snipe these at low durability, like three or four off the flea market for cheap. Um, if it was a map I did not have keys for at all, I would maybe end up with something like that. So that's how I fill out the gamma. And if I had an alpha container, those are probably my thoughts. So this is what I usually put in my gamma. Um, I have my keys and then a golden star, usually a mag, just cause they're so expensive in my ammo. And then um, my CMS kit, if I was to only run an alpha, I would probably leave this out because that's not that expensive. And um, I would, because that's a two by two, I would probably just do it like this. Like a little extra ammo, my sick case, because that can hold everything. And then my golden star. So that's, that's what I would do. But like I said, this is what it usually looks like. It's something like this. If I don't um, care about my mags or if I'm running like 30 rounders or something, then I... I'll have it like this and there you go. That's, that's pretty much what it would look like if I was running like 30 rounders. Hello, my name is Pep, probably one of the most powerful EFT players to have ever lived. And today I want to talk about what I like to keep in my container. This is pretty consistent from what I generally tend to bring into my raids. We got the splint on deck the backup heals in case I accidentally heal myself instead of using a hemostat and then I use up all my salawa and I'm very upset with myself and I'm just like F <sighs> anyways not that that ever happens to be fair we also have a hemostat this is this part very interchangeable but you know it's it's in there right now but these are the three main things the splint the backup meds and the surgery kit now if I just had you know, the alpha container, it would probably be exactly what's here right now. The surgery kit, the splint, and the back of bifac. If not a back of bifac, maybe a propitol or a morphine, or maybe like an SJ6 or something like that, or a mule. Otherwise, that's about it. Welcome to this and the tap. Uh, so what I usually put in my container, 
Uh, if I have a gamma container, I'll. It depends on what weapon I'm using. Uh, usually, an extra mag goes in there, an extra stack of ammo, um, some sort of prepaint, whether it's a golden star, uh, Vaseline, or ibuprofen uh, would be the choice. Um, serve kit again. This can be interchangeable with a CMS, uh, depending on just what I've got. I'm kind of one of those. I'll use what I've got, and then a uh, sick case usually for keys and dog tags. Um, if I was to have uh, a four by four, uh, a two by two container like an alpha last wipe, I used a um, waste bag for the majority of the wipe. It would be the sick case, the pre pain, and then the extra ammo. Um, I'd usually keep my um, survival kit, surgery kit in my bag or rig, and the extra mag I just put up here. Um, but that's usually this is my usual go to gamma loadout. Uh, serve kit obviously interchangeable with a CMS. Um, the Golden Star is changeable with either Vaseline or Golden Star, and then an extra full stack of whatever ammo I'm running usually is the uh, go-to. If I'm playing labs, then I take a Docs case, um, purely because the amount of intel that spawns on that map I'm putting, and I don't worry about dog tags, I, I, I go Docs case for labs. So with my, with my Gamma, basically as soon as I get, uh, as soon as I get a wallet, that is usually the first thing to go in. Um, at the beginning of the wipe, I'm usually rocking meds and ammo just because that's something that I'll use in every single raid and I don't want to have to repeatedly buy it over and over and over again. Um, once I get past level 5, 10, you know, whatever, I basically, this is my, my typical, uh, typical gamma setup. A grizzly, a CMS propitol and either a sick case a docs case or a key tool and then you know i'll either put some extra ammo in here or some meds or something like that um wherever i'm going like you know this is shoreline this is for reserve this is for like customs um the reason why i take these things is because i almost never have to heal more than five limbs in one raid like it's so rare that i don't just die so the serve is kind of overkill um and i like that this takes two slots the grizzly has enough hp to where i can uh heal up five blacked out limbs and still be able to heal breaks um and all the other HP needs, um, I'll usually end up with, uh, a car med kit or a Salewa or whatever. Um, but, but this basically just ensures that if I get into a fight, um, that I think is going to be long, pop a propitol, um, and then I can start healing limbs. When I heal the limbs, pop the propitol, it's going to be filling up, uh, all of my health passively, um, and then, you know, this is just more of a kind of longer term thing. I can keep it in there. And it, like I said, it heals breaks. Uh, it's, it's a huge HP resource. So that uh, I'd rather have a Grizzly and a CMS than uh, serve and, uh, you know, like a bunch of IFAX or something. So, yeah, I mean, this is, this is generally what I keep in the Gamma. Now, uh, whenever I've played with an Alpha before, because um, I started with a standard account, and I've also played like some hardcore uh, things before. So basically, you have uh, what you have is what two by two. So usually, what I'll end up with is usually toss a splint. Um, it's basically just meds, honestly. Um, An IFAC, maybe, an IFAC, a splint, um, or uh, a CMS kit and a key bar or a docs case. Um, really, it just comes down to keys and meds, uh, whatever you can fit. What I like to put in my Gamma container is, of course, my keys, whatever my key container is. And then uh, a extra mag if I have room. Packing ammo takes priority over the extra mag though. 
surgery kit, of course, because um, honestly, even though if this isn't super expensive, the thing is I do like to get my charges out of my surgery kit. If I've got like maybe three charges or two charges left on it, I'll move it into my backpack to make extra room. Um, a long lasting painkiller, like a golden star, ibuprofen or a Vaseline. And then I will have a, uh, a big heel, like a propotol or an ETG that I can pop during a fight. Sometimes I will have like a propotol in my vest as well. But uh, if I can, ETG is really, really awesome. It's like quick healing. It's a super underrated stem, I think, as long as you pack a snack with you. But if I had a alpha container, the first thing I would do is, is I would try and get a, a key tool if I could. If I could get a key tool, like let's just say like this cabin key is a key tool. I would get a key tool and these would be the most important things. My big heel, my uh, BP rounds, my long heel and then my keys if i could if i can't afford a key tool then what i would do is docs case instead of the etg and i would probably leave the etg behind but that painkiller packing ammo keys i think are the most important thing if you have an alpha container instead of the gamma i hope you like everyone i'm going to go last here really quickly um and you know what i'm i'm, I'm the same as a lot of people in here to be honest you know the serve 12 kit uh, I don't mind running the CMS either if I want to get, say, another stack of ammo in here. But most of the time, I'll run a Serve 12, and this is the first thing that is is leaving. I'll put that in my backpack because it is so cheap. And say I find some, you know, one by two that's really good, like a GPU or something. This is the first thing that's leaving, so I will ditch that. But I do like the Serve 12. Always run the 60 stack of ammo, whatever gun I'm using. Uh, the Splint, of course docs case and most times than not i'm running a docs case over a sick case the only time i'm running a sick case is mostly on maps like shoreline and reserve and that's because i need a lot more keys but i kind of i'm not gonna lie to you i i kind of like what kings earlier was talking about how he had a key tool and a docs case and i really do believe in docs cases i think they're a lot better than the sick case and if you want to know why I think this, um, I'll put a link right above here. It'll be coming up here. It's my video on the Docs case versus the Sick case and why I think Docs case more times than not is better. So you can check that video out after. Um, and then I always, you know, the big old painkiller, you know, your Golden Star or your Vaseline or your Ibuprofen. So that's it's pretty standard. I'm noticing now there's always this one square that is, I would say, like the wild card, right? Some people are running green stims. Some people are running mules. Some people run uh, health kits here. Maybe it, it's really up to you. But this is like my standard with a wild card slot right here. Now, if I did have only an alpha, I'd be running the 60 sack of ammo, the golden star. I would be just like until I do a couple of tasks and I get a bigger secure container, I'm going to be only running a key tool. So let's just pretend like this is a key tool. I'd be running the key tool right there and then probably a splint, to be honest. And again, the first thing that's going to be going out is probably your splint because this is only roughly 15,000 rubles. But even then, I would say like this could be your wild card. So you could put a splint here if you want. You could put a mule here. You could put an ETG here. It's up to you. But I would say this is kind of like your wild card slot. And if you want, you can even you can even, I wouldn't even say that, you know, key tool is definitely more important, but until you get a key tool or if you're playing maps when you don't need keys yet, I'm definitely taking this out and I'm putting like, say a CMS kit right here. That's, that's what I'd be doing. But once you start getting that key tool, you want to bring in as many keys as you have available to the current map you're playing. I just think it's more important than you having to maybe buy a CMS kit every once in a while. So that's what I'd run if I had an alpha. Now, I hope you guys, you know, just take some of these opinions, you kind of figure out what you really liked from some of them, what you didn't like, and, you know, you use it as you may. I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, it would mean a lot to me if you give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to this channel. It's free for you guys, but it means the world to me. I put out a bunch of content out here and it would just mean a world to me, honestly. Also, I do stream five days a week on Twitch.tv, just like all these other amazing people before me. Come by, 
say hello. I'll answer any question you ever have. Or if you have a different way, maybe if you have your secure container a different way, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And until next time, I'll talk to everyone later.